Hello friends, Corey McQuitty, the director of golf of Almaden Golf and Country Club here. And today I'd like to talk to, about, talk to you about taking care of the golf course. We're gonna review how to fill a divot and fix a ball mark on the green. Taking care of, of these things to the golf course is a courtesy to the other members and players and ensures good playing conditions for you as well as the rest of the membership. We're here at the first hole of Albany Golf and Country Club and I have my approach shot into the green. I'm going to make sure I fill my divot by taking the sand and seed mix and pouring it into the divot, making sure to not overfill and leave it just below the surface of the grass. I'll tap it down with my foot and it should repair in a week or so. In fixing the divot you made, pay attention and look out for other divots that may have not been filled by your fellow members and take care of those too. We're here in the second fairway and I'm going to hit my approach shot into the green. That landed on the green. Now let's go see if we can fix my ball mark. So you can see my approach shot ended up pretty good here. Now what I need to do is locate the ball mark that it made and see if there's any others that someone may have missed that I can fix. A lot of times the ball mark will be on the front of the green even if your ball has ended up on the back of the green. So please make sure to start from the front of the green and walk towards the back when looking for your ball mark and others to fix. Okay, I've loaded, located my ball mark. Now it's time to repair it. Make sure you take your divot repair tool and angle about 45 degrees around the pitch mark and push in towards the pitch mark. Work your way around the mark and then tap it down with either your putter or your foot. The improper way to fix a ball mark would to be to insert the divot tool and lift up that separates the roots from the soil and can end up killing the grass. Please do not do this. After repairing my own ball mark, I've found several other that I can repair. Again, I'm gonna insert the divot tool at a 45 degree angle around the ball mark and push in towards the mark and tap it down with my foot. We're here at the third green, and as you can see, my shot has ended up in the middle of the green, but the ball mark is in the front. And you can also tell there are several other ball marks here at the front of the green. And two more here as well. So when we're fixing these ball marks, let's make sure to repair the others that may have been missed. Your approach shot misses the green and ends up in one of our bunkers, make sure to enter the bunker from the low side and not from the high side, which tends to be near the green. Entering bunkers from the high side can cause damage to the face. After hitting your bunker shot, make sure to tap the sand off of your shoes to make sure you don't track any sand prints on the green. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. The fellow members, myself, Mike Krause, our golf course superintendent, all appreciate your work to take care of this golf course. Remember, this isn't only your course, but you share it with many other members. And by fixing your ball marks and repairing your divots, you're ensuring the best possible playing conditions for you, the other members, and your guests.
If you have any questions about the content from this video or any other questions regarding course care, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or any of our golf shop staff to help answer your questions or clarify the proper process to take care of our golf course. Thank you and enjoy your round.